everybody and welcome to Luton. It's Friday night in the championship and this week's game is Luton versus Sheffield United. The Blades are top of the table although that's been built on a very good home record and they'll get a good test at last year's playoff semi-finalists. Luton, they haven't started so well but they got their first win last time out at Swansea as ever in these Friday night games so early in the season we can get a fair old bit of movement in the table. The Blades could go four points clear at the top ahead of tomorrow's games. Luton, if they win by three I think, can go all the way up to fifth and put a bit of pressure on the teams playing tomorrow. So we'll see what transpires as ever. I'm about, I don't know, ten minutes away from the ground so we'll head over team news in a little bit and we'll see if we can find ourselves a drink. Always a bit of a game of chance at Luton. Can I see through the posts when I'm in the main stand? I'm very pleased to report I've been lucky. Look, this is the view. Pretty good over to that goal. Look at that in the way there, but we are okay. As long as I can see both the goals, I'm happy. Okay, we have some team news in. Only one change for Luton. No surprise there. Carlton Morris, he came off the bench to score at Swansea and he's in from the start. Someone who also came off the bench to score last week was Sheffield United's Illiman Njai. He is in. That's no surprise. Bit of a surprise though at the back. Um, Anel Ahmed Odzic is not in. He's been playing very well at the back for the Blades. Um, Basham in over him at the back, but pretty much as expected, two strong looking sides here. Take a sneaky look over there. You'll see Reading manager Paul Lintz. Well, it has been a lively start, nice end to end start. And we have a goal Luton 1, Sheffield United 0. Luton putting on a bit of pressure down the left hand side, Bell does well, he puts a long throw and it comes back to him, he crosses it first time, I thought it was a bit of a floaty cross, Morris on the near post, glancing header to the far corner, really good goal, we said Morris was worth his place after coming on as a sub and scoring last time and he has been worth that selection already, nine gone, Luton won. Sheffield United nil. Midway through the first half. Good watch this one. It's Luton 1, Sheffield United nil. That early goal, sort of 10 minutes, 9 10 minutes in from Carl and Morris separates the two teams. Good clash of styles this. Sheffield United trying to play some um, sort of short passy stuff. Berger looks impressive, very smooth in midfield. That Luton midfield is just so direct, carrying the ball really well, and they're carrying a real threat as well, and fairly sort of even on chances, Norwood volleyed one in which was sort of blocked. Sheffield United two in the book as well already. Good game this one, halfway through the first half, 1-0 Luton. Things have calmed down the last sort of 15 minutes, a bit less frenetic as we come into half time now. Not much in it at all, really similar pattern. I suppose from a Sheffield United point of view, they'll be disappointed, which not really created any big sort of chances yet as we come in towards half time. 1-0 Luton. <laughs> Half time here, Luton 1, Sheffield United 0. Good stuff, good frenetic start to this one. Morris giving Luton the lead on nine minutes. Nice header angled in from Bells Cross. I thought Luton then really picked it up nicely after the goal. Sheffield United have the air of the team that's kind of neat and tidy. They've probably had way more of the possession, but really feels like Luton have had more of the threat and carried that threat really from central midfield. I'm sure some of those Blades fans over there will be wondering who this Freeman guy is because they didn't quite see the fight he's given for Luton tonight. Players now coming out for the second half. I suspect we'll get a bit of an uptrend from Sheffield United. Luton will have to sort of face up to that and I'm sure we'll go to the benches with about 30 to go and Blades have got plenty of quality there. You make Luton hot favourites though with the lead here they're going to be moving up the table as things stand. Luton 1, Sheffield United 0. 
we are off and running in the second half, which is my cue to ask you very kindly if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button, like the video, support the channel. And there is the equaliser, it's Luton 1, Sheffield United 1 and his goal drought is over, Oli McBurney has scored for Sheffield United. The Blades have started the second half well, forced a couple of corners, this one gets recycled and back post on the volley McBurney, it's really good technique, he swings his right foot at it, volleys it into the far corner, 1-1, 52 gone, game on. Just shy of 20 to go here, still 1-1. Ilman and Dyer's just about to go in the book. Neither side sitting back on this, I have to say, could go either way. Probably about 10 minutes ago, I'd have had Sheffield United favourites, but Luton had just come into it a little bit more over the last five, 10 minutes. Let's see what the subs bench is and the last 20 minutes bring. 1-1. One, one. Interesting sub plot here with about 12 to go. Sheffield United have had to take their goalkeeper off. Where's Fotheringham had had a bit of trouble during the second half. 21-year-old Jordan Amisa, new one on me, is on. Were I in charge of Luton, I would be saying put the young, inexperienced keeper under pressure and we'll see whether that plays into the end result here. Here we go into seven minutes of stoppage time. We've got Brewster, um, Amadodzic on for Sheffield United, Berry's on for Luton. This one's looking like a draw unless we get some late, late stoppage time drama. And there you have it, it was Luton 1, Sheffield United 1 in the Championship tonight. Good game, really good watch, really competitive, could have been won by either side. Luton taking the lead early in the first half, Carlton Morris with a goal. Sheffield United coming out real strong in the second half. Ollie McBurney ends his seemingly endless goal drought and sticks a nice volley in. Both sides had good periods after they scored, but I don't know, probably a fair result in the end when you balance up the entirety of the game. From a Luton point of view, I suppose they'll be happy to have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the league leaders and could have beaten them. From a Sheffield United point of view, they'll probably be be pleased with that in terms of just tonight. They do need to start getting some away wins on the board. Their home form's been absolutely fantastic, but in deference to Sheffield United, they have had some tricky games thus far. Um, I think they've been to Middlesbrough and they've been to Watford and Luton obviously were in the playoffs last season. So all things considered, they'll be happy with where they are. I think uh, Luton go on to six points. So still slow start by them, but they're trending in the right direction, I would suggest. Sheffield United extend their lead at the top. They could be overtaken tomorrow. Obviously, um, there we go. Get your thoughts on the game in the comments. Love to hear from you. And if you want to stick with the channel, take a look up there. And if I do everything properly, you should see a lovely playlist of all of my match vlogs this season.